So I've been experimenting with different ways of recording the speakers. There are many ways of recording stereo, and I know binaural has become something of a standard that people expect when it comes to loudspeakers to get a real sense of the imaging from the speakers. However, the downside of course being that it is coloured by the acoustics of the rooms. The whole point of binaural is you're hearing exactly what your ears hear, which is how the room interacts with the speakers and that's the whole point, it's supposed to be a 3D sound. Of course, also means you really need headphones to hear back a binaural recording. So it wasn't really a room I want to go because for me it's very limiting. It's, you know, speakers is not the only thing I record and I use my, my recording equipment for other things. Binaural does require a particular investment that I'm not really going to be able to use in any other way. What was interesting to me was ORTF stereo recordings, which is something developed by Office de Radio Fusion Television Francais. Okay, I'll pronounce that wrong, I'm quite sure. I don't really speak French. However, the point being, it was developed by them as a way of mimicking what your ears actually hear. So it's not binaural, it's kind of a cheap man's binaural, probably not even that. But it does take cues from how your ears work. So you need a pair of cardioid mics, preferably matched, spaced 17 centimeters apart to match the average person's ears and angled at 110 degrees. This setup does give you a sense of, well, it's meant to give you a sense of what your ears actually hear. So that's, that's spatial information, but it does reject rear sounds. It's not 3D. You don't have to have headphones on, but it's better with headphones on. So it's not limited really to headphones. Now it's not binaural, but it, it is another step up from the many ways of recording stereo. Midside is something I've been using till now. XY is also very popular, many, many ways, A, B, blah, blah, blah. However, I thought, I thought this might be interesting because it's midway between binaural and a, a regular stereo recording. It does mimic in some aspects what your ears hear. So basically this video is just going to be a quick test to see if I or you can hear a difference in these recordings to a normal stereo recording. Do you get an extra sense of spatial information? To me the plus side is it's not coloured by the room in which I'm recording. Of course you're still getting some of the acoustics but not to the extent you would get with a binaural and you can still listen through speakers and still get that sense of spatial information. So this has been my setup. These are a pair of Rode M5 mics fed into a Zoom F4 recorder and basically these are the first recordings I have made with it. It's just some my speakers I've got lying around including the soundbar. It does compare them. It may be interesting to you because it does compare the actual speakers in a stereo recording and uh, at the end also show you comparative volumes that these speakers go to. However, it's really my experiment at OTRF. One of the downsides of this that I didn't know if it would be a problem or not would be being close up to the speakers because this was really developed for standing, you know, being far off the hole in the middle so that it turns out that there isn't really much of a hole in the middle because of how close the microphones are and it is to mimic your ears. Your ears aren't quite together. There is a little bit of a hole. Well, that's not the same because there's nothing divided. I think they call it the shadow between the ears where there's, there's bits of solid, I would hope, inside your head um, that does affect the sound in a particular way, which you're not going to get with this sort of setup. Comparing with what I got with what I'm going to play and with how I've been doing it, um, and of course I think this is a bit of an upgraded system to what I've been using. It did seem to capture more information without being much of a hole in the middle. Actually I found that the high end close up was actually uh, where it was um, lacking the most and that kind of surprised me. But anyway, these are my recordings and I hope you find them useful.
So I'm going to do some more recordings, try it out a bit more, especially on the stereo pairs, because up to now I couldn't really do them justice in the way I've been recording, which was heavily slanted towards um, the centre image. So hopefully I think I'll be able to show, without going to a binaural recording, be able to do hope to do the speakers in pairs more justice and give you a sense of exactly what you get when you pair them up instead of a single speaker. So thanks for watching. UK.